We are featuring today an awe-inspiring adolescent saint who from the age of three until he died had suffered physically, psychologically, and emotionally. How he lived a simple, humble, gentle, and prayerful life leading to sanctity was a unique gift from God. Saint Nunzio Sulpricio was born in Pescara, Italy on April 13, 1817. He was a happy and lively child. His father died when he was three years old and his mother remarried for the sake of financial support. Thus began his suffering. His stepfather paid no attention to him and considered him a burden. When his mother died a few years later, he was sent to live with his maternal grandmother. Unfortunately, she also died when Nundio was just about 10 years old. He was taken by his uncle, who was cruel to him and treated him with contempt. This uncle was a blacksmith and made Nunzio work the hard work not appropriate for children. He also sent the young boy to errands in far and secluded places, sometimes in the midst of rains and snowstorms. When Nunzio's work in the shop was not satisfactory, he would beat him. He also deprived the boy of little rest and comforts and gave him very little food, which was needed by growing children. In all these, Nunzio remained calm and gentle, offering everything to God. His consolation in the midst of his trials was his daily prayers. He loved to pray before Jesus in the Blessed Sacrament and to recite the Holy Rosary. While working in the blacksmith shop, Nunzio got injured and the wound on his left leg was not properly treated. He tried to endure the pain it caused him until one time in winter, he had a burning fever and was not any more able to stand. He was brought to the doctor and was diagnosed to have gangrene. His uncle was indifferent, but he sent him to a hospital in Aquila, then in Naples. While in the hospital, he tried to console other patients. Meanwhile, his wound was not getting healed. Searching for someone who could help, Another uncle introduced him to a fellow soldier, a colonel, who immediately treated Nunzio like a son. He brought Nunzio to the hospital for the incurables and paid for all the expenses incurred. Nunzio got better. He stood up, abandoned his crutches, and began to walk with a stick. Yet, the wound would not heal. In 1835, when Nunzio was 18 years old, the doctors decided to amputate his leg, but Nunzio knew he was dying because he felt so weak. He asked to make the First Communion and was allowed. A few months later, on May 5, 1836, he lay dying. He asked to receive the last sacraments. After saying his prayers holding a crucifix, his soul flew to the loving embrace of God. Miracles followed after his death. He was beatified on December 1, 1963 and was canonized on October 14, 2018. He is the patron of blacksmith, abused children, and of workers. Saint Nunzio Sulpricio was prayerful, kind, gentle, and patient. Lord Jesus Christ, help us to trust always in you even when life is difficult, as Saint Nunzio did. Although he endured so much suffering, he remained a person of faith. May we reach out to other people who need a caring word or gesture. Help us to love you as Saint Nunzio did and know that you are with us in all times and places of our lives. Amen. <music>